I just wanted to talk about Toys R Us a little bit in this video here. I know a lot of people have talked about it. It's all over the web, everything. Everybody knows that Toys R Us is closing. Uh, I had visited uh, the Toys R Us uh, near me uh, several times uh, in the last week. Uh, just to see what was different, what was going on, how many people are there, and uh, it's one of those places I shopped at, you know, quite a bit when I was a kid, and quite a lot less when I was older. I had probably been there a couple of years ago, uh, buying some toys for some nieces and nephews, um, but not, you know, any great recent memory. I mean, I'd walk in every once in a while to see what they had, but I really wasn't, you know, maybe looking for some Star Wars figurines or whatever, but I didn't really buy that much. Um, I wanted to also mention, um, show you a couple things that I picked up. Uh, ours is closing the 26th, and uh, I was looking to see if there was any kind of um, Toys R Us memorabilia there. I know people are finding Toys R Us exclusive toys. I did not see very many of those there. Uh, I did not see any actual signs that were marked Toys R Us as far as I could see. A lot of the shelf displays were... Um, were sold and I did not want to take the Lego signs off the displays and and wreck them uh, I mean not wreck them but um, you know unless they said I could you know and um, or you know because they just said Lego you know you didn't really know that they were Toys R Us but anyway uh, because I've seen people posting online each Toys R Us is different they either throwing away their cardboard signs or metal signs or whatever they have or their um, uh, giving them away to customers that ask or some of them were actually for sale. They put prices on some things uh, But let me show you what I picked up. I might go one more time And I couldn't believe this was there. This is Disney's uh, Pixar Incredibles 2 Mr. Incredible and then we've got them right there. I don't know if you could see that very well uh, Not only is he posable, but he's super posable uh, that was kind of neat, and this was 50% off or more. I think it was probably like 60%. I don't remember. It was only like 3 or $4 for this one here. It was not a big deal. And I think that was the last one of those. Um, there was a weekend, I think, uh, or three days or four days in between the time that I went last time. So there's that one. And then I have the larger version of this, but I got the mini version, the World of Nintendo, the Villager, or whatever. Um, and then there's this one here. And um, this one was, I think, $2. Uh, so that was pretty good. They had quite a few of those left, three or four or five. And that was all I bought, but I got... This was on a rack uh, towards the back of the store. There was no price on the rack, so it wasn't sold or anything. Uh, this was just before you get to the video game department. And I found this really cool uh, Toys R Us. Even... Oops, let's scoot this back here. Toys R Us. Oh. Even more online, ToysRUs.com, plus store pickup when you buy or online or order in store. Uh, these things have been selling like hotcakes on eBay. There's a fold right in there. I asked the guy, I said, I found this a sign with a bend in the middle. Uh, is there any way I can have this or, or whatever? And he said, well, I don't know about that, but I guess so. And he just put it in my bag. And they gave me a purple bag this time, and I had an orange bag the previous time. And it's double-sided, the same on the back side. Uh, but this was towards the back of the store on some display. It wasn't even part of where they have all the fixtures for sale. Uh, some stores were selling the TVs by themselves for like 20 bucks, and some of these things were still... Com there was stuff that was still going on, so some of the displays were still lighted up, you know, and some of the Lego things were still there, but... Uh, many of like the, the, the big displays, you know, were already gone. Um, I don't know when that was, but, you know, when things first got 50% off, I think. I think that's when, when people started to load up like crazy. But it was fairly, fairly quiet there, and there were people there, and they were not panicking. But lots and lots of Star Wars toys and lots of uh, WWE figurines. Uh, lots of uh, DC and Marvel type stuff. Lots of that stuff. So that was all, all, all still there, and lots of uh, um, off brands of, of like the the M A I S T O type Hot Wheels. There, they were still there, gobs and gobs of those, and you know some other things that looked like little tykes, but it had the same logo, but it was a different, different branded type thing. They had tons of that stuff, and then there's some other toy series. I can't remember what it was, and they had gobs of those. And but half the three quarters of the inventory are, has been scooted away off to so the vi building is vastly empty. And as I said, the 26th is the last day. Um, I'll just show it something t totally non Toys R Us related. I picked up a couple NASCAR pictures here. Uh, Courtney Force, 
I'm sorry, uh, uh, racing photographs, and then John Force. I know John Force signs, and I might have him sign that one. It's kind of beat up. And then I might see if I can get Courtney to sign that one. That would be pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, let me know what you plan to do if you plan to go back to Toys R Us or see if they have any signs. Uh, you never know. You might check the back of the store. Uh, and they might have have some stuff in kind of kind of stashed away, but I wouldn't wait too soon because, uh, like I said, all of these signs, they're all gone. Anything that says Toys R Us on it is all gone, as far as I know, because eBay is just totally chock a block full of everything. And you know whether it's five dollars or fifteen dollars or twenty five, fifty, a hundred dollars, people are buying this stuff like candy. Uh, so um, uh, have fun with that, and uh, thank you for watching.